Hi again, it's Steve Richards, founder of Holographic Kinetics. Today I want to go and discuss what actually is holographic kinetics and how holographic kinetics is different from other methodologies out there today. To understand holographic kinetics, we first have to understand the Dreamtime healing, which is the ancient Aboriginal art of healing through the Dreamtime, which is acknowledging the spirit of nature of the trees, the rocks, the plants, the animals. As the ancients could communicate to every living thing in nature, holographic kinetics understands taken to another level. It understands that everything and every cell in us is actually a fractal of a hologram. Or you may say, what's a fractal of a hologram? A fractal of a hologram is the picture of the hologram that makes a whole hologram and that multiplies by itself through time. In other words, that little fractal is all about you that reproduces itself to make the whole of you. So, if I took a blade of hair, in amongst you, and they could say, in modern terminology, you could say, well, in amongst that blade of hair is your DNA. Well, your DNA is in your fingernail, it's in your toe, it's in your skin. But beyond the DNA, which is the physical thing we can see, is the invisible that we can't see. And the invisible we can't see is that nucleus of that atom. And that nucleus, pure light, is spirit. It has the ability to move through time, has the ability to move through space. Once we capture thoughts, we capture electrons from the sun, and they become what's known as inverted electromagnetic energy flux. We now capture those electrons, which spiral into us. They then start to move into platonic geometry and crystallize within our cells. They now locked in our cells become part of the soul memory of the experiences. Now the soul memory of the experiences once locked into our cells, as a thought form has become a life form, will start to reproduce itself. Just like the hologram reproduces itself. Now that it reproduces itself, we get the cycles of similarity. The cycles of similarity means that as it's reproducing itself, it's growing, it's learning, it's using you as a host for its own survival, and it's evolving. It eventually can take over you as an entity. But let's get back. What is the difference between holographic kinetics and other methodologies? So hypnosis. Hypnosis is putting you in an altered state and going back in time and accessing the experiences of the events that have taken place it is accessing and changing the programs of the soul. Let's look at NLP, look at kinesiology, look at theta healing, look at many of these other modalities out there and they're all accessing the soul of the being which are the experiences that are locked in to the cellular memory of the physical being and that are flowing through and affecting the physical reality. And when you change the soul, it can change the physical. But sometimes what takes place is it's only changing the temporary physical structure because you're not going to its nucleus. When you go to the nucleus being the spirit, it then can change the soul, which then in turn can change the physical. You see, you've got to go to the cause set up in the invisible, which is the spirit, which then flows through to end product, which is visible. First change invisible, it changes the visible. So what holographic kinetics does is it recognises the multi-dimensions of you. It recognises when the ego is talking to me on the table. It recognises when the soul is reliving the experiences of the event. It recognises when the spirit's in the moment of time. It recognises the life forms that are trying to justify their existence in the being or other dimensional forces that are trying to manipulate the being in that moment of time. You see, this is something other modalities aren't looking at. The modern dimensions of who you are and who's really talking out of you on the table. Is it you talking? Is it the ego talking? Is it the soul talking? Is it life forms talking? Or is it the spirit talking? Unless you know how to access the spirit, then all you're going to get is the soul or life forms trying to justify their existence within you. Holographic kinetics, it looks at the amount of people that are stuck in dimensions of time. It looks at people in the prison system, repeating the same thing over and over, stuck in time. It looks at people in our society that keep attracting 
violent boyfriends in her life. Stuck in time. It looks like people are having relationship issues with the same type of people they keep attracting in their life. Stuck in time. It looks for like people, it looks at like people in the workforce that only take mundane type of jobs because they have a program that's stuck in time. It looks at everyday life and issues are affecting people. People are stuck in anger, stuck in time. People are stuck in depression. Where did that come from? How did it cause to some effect? Change the cause. And when the person changes the cause of that effect, once you change the cause, it changes the effect. First change the invisible, change the visible. It's covering so many areas of our health system that are not being looked at. You know, you've got neurologists out there that realise there's nothing physically wrong with this being, but there's something going on. You've got people that work in the children's hospital. 50% of the cases, we can't explain what's going on with the child. Let me at them, and I guarantee a lot of those children will be stuck in dimensions of time. And we can unfold space and time, and we can assist these children. Why should they suffer? Because we have a system that's ignorant. Look at old people before they move on. Revert back in time. We live in the trauma of the past because they've never dealt with them, part of universal laws. Deal with stuff now before you move on, or else you've got to come back and deal with it again. Yet it's only when we start to realise these multi dimensionals of us and who we are. You have a heart transplant. You just took another spirit from another body and put it in the heart. I mean, it's linked to the heart, you put another heart, and you've got another spirit. You get to change your personalities. Who's dealing with the change of personalities? Let's look into the future. If what I'm saying is correct, which is, and if you're a hologram of time, which you are, and if the present changes, and if in the present you change the past, then you're changing the future hologram of time. Okay, well, not the case. Let's look at rehabilitation. You've had a massive car accident. Your past cell tells the present cell you've got trauma. So it keeps on telling, as it replaces itself, it replaces it with the trauma. Because no one told it otherwise. If you were to unfold time and space and go back before the trauma even took place, and change it so it doesn't exist, so when the new cell comes through and says, I'm perfect, then we can get acceleration of rehabilitation of the future. We've already tried this and we've found it works. How many other areas out there that can we get a, and we can accelerate assistance in the future? Because we, unless we look at these areas, unless we try these areas to find out what's going on, unless we look at the cause, the effect and why something is, how can we ever make changes to it? It doesn't take intelligence to dumb and numb somebody through medication. You dumb and numb anybody, of course, they're not going to feel, they're not going to experience anything. And you can pat yourself on the back and say, oh, I've now succeeded in dumbing and numbing you, and now, look at the changes I've made, because you don't remember what happened, because you're too dumb and numb. Hey, look at the amount of kids who, why, why are you giving private to kids at school? Come on. Look at the amount of kids who have committed suicide by side effects of your drugs and medication because you had no idea how to do with the cause of the effect. The amount of people being killed by the amount of people that have armed themselves and gone on a rampage because of side effects of the medication. Why are these people being charged for accessories to some of the things they're doing? You know, if you handed somebody a, a knife and they went on a berserk and you're there with them, you're in the area, you gave them the knife, you'd be accessory to that. You know, these doctors are pushing medication, knowing what the side effects are doing, knowing that the suicide rate is fivefold on some of these drugs they're pushing. And these people go out and commit suicide and kill others. You know one's responsible. Let's have a look at mental health systems. So, you've got false medication. They've locked you up and now they're forcing medication into you. Okay. You know, I've had clients that are on forced medication that have to go back every two weeks to have their kidney and their liver examined. Well, hang on. I've also had clients that have been in a mental health institution. I sat on a tribunal 
where he had liver and kidney failure started to be developed. Top naturopath says the side effects of the medication. But you know, if he dies of kidney or liver failure, no one's held responsible. Why? Because his autopsy said kidney or liver failure. It didn't say kidney or liver failure due to the side effects of the medication. You know, we've got to really look at our system out there and ask, what's going on? We have to start making changes to a system that right now, I look, has been a total failure. We have to stop, governments have to stop listening to these so-called experts that are not getting results. Go and look where the results are. Don't have a look at people in your system. The whole system needs to be changed. How do you bring something new into a system when it's controlled by a system of failure? So there's many alternative methodologies out there that are very successful. Many methodologies out there that are working. Holographic kinetics is one of the most unique and powerful systems out there today that can work on many, many levels. We need to really be awakened to what's taking place in our world and why aren't governments looking at systems that are working. We need more people to go for politics that are interested in what takes place and wants to see a change and not are getting kickbacks. We really have to look at what's happening worldwide with health. We have to look at who? World Health Organization. And we have to start asking questions about who's really running them at that level. You know, unless we ask questions Unless we push the buttons, unless we really make an effect, nothing will change. We just become a pawn in the game. And this is a game of manipulation. A game of, of programming controlling the souls of beings because they don't have the ability to think for themselves. All of you people out there have responsibility and it's called thinking. Thinking and taking responsibility for your thought, your word, your deed and your action. And if you sit by and do nothing, then nothing will change. And you become part of the problem, not part of the solution. But when every single one of you stand up and say, something's got to be done, and you start writing to your politicians, you start demanding changes, only then will you find we we'll start to get changes. Because other than that, the system is manipulated at a very high level. We need to make changes. Holographic Kinet has the ability to make changes in so many areas. It has the ability to change the dynamic of so many things that we've never even looked at before. Well, I still look at it now and say, this is a ground floor. In 50 years time, where's it gonna go? What can we do with this knowledge in 50 years time? What can I make changes to? You know, if we can change a dimension, which we can, and we can change the hologram of a dimension, that's a fractal of the hologram of the dimension. And it's linked to the next hologram, which is a fractal of that hologram, which is linked to a fractal of the next hologram. Then what can we physically change out there? And believe me, this is the tip of the iceberg. You'd be surprised what we have the ability to make changes to as a collective. When we start to put our intent into action, we can make physical changes to our physical reality. And this is, this, this is where this is going. This is where this is going for the future. We need more people to understand. We need more people to be aware. We need more people to be fed up and satisfied with the fact that they themselves are going to make a change. Satisfied that they know that they as a spirit can make a change. And to make that step to make a change. Other than that, we won't have a change. If nothing ever happens and we don't make a change, then we get what we deserve. We get where we're heading. Remember, we all have the choice to make a change. Our reality is our reality. You know, you do not have to. And remember, this is it. We have so many people out there that are stuck in someone else's reality. So I think about, it. whose reality am I really in? Do I need to play this reality? Do I need to trust these people? Do I not believe everything they tell me? Because whatever they tell me and whatever I believe, that 
integrated intent becomes a reality. That's how powerful realities are. Whatever I believe is, is. Whatever I believe will take place, will. Because that's the reality I'm in. And if I believe I can make changes, then I will make changes. And I know I'm already making changes. And I know you too can make changes. And this is about all of us making changes to better the system we're living in for the future. If we intend to have in the future. Thank you.